as Dave Shoji's Rainbow Wahine lead for the first time in the set at a critical moment. Stay with us as set three will continue. Taking a look at what we're playing for here in the 2009 WAC Championship. Coach Shoji talked about it before the game. The last time they were on national television, didn't have a great match against Fresno State. Wanted to have a really good one. Really good, I think, here would mean, for one thing, winning 3-0. Again, trying to earn the highest seat possible in the NCAA tournament. That tournament, the 64-team bracket, will be announced on Sunday. You said they wanted to make sure that they looked good for that tournament. Do you think they have looked good tonight? I think they have. Just a little bit of a letdown here in game three. And I don't even know if it was so much of a let letdown. I think it was New Mexico State picking its game up, hitting a lot better, uh, and slowing the Hawaii offense down. Hawaii offense only hitting 190 in this third set. The other two, they were way above 300. For up to the minute news for everything that is college sports, log on to ESPNU.com. This online service is a gateway to the best in college sports content from ESPN, combining the latest news, scores, features, video highlights, podcasts, and much more. If you don't have ESPNU, be sure to log on to ESPNU.com and type in your zip code at the top of the page or call your local cable operator or satellite provider. Log on to ESPNU.com today. This is a 5-1 Hawaii scoring run at a critical moment. Mafua, the server for this Hawaii team. Woods goes out. Whitney Woods, who has had the cross-court success all day, went line, and we are at set point, match point for Hawaii. State is alive. A big kill, but we are going to remain at match point. The junior from Lubbock, Texas, Kaylee Giddens, the server for New Mexico State University. Back to Otinero. Google Otinero gets the kill. Consecutive conference championship in the WAC for the Hawaii Rainbow Wahine and Dave Shoji. Program of consistent greatness right since he took this program over 35 seasons ago. Looking at Kanani Danielson, the WAC Player of the Year. She was huge tonight, put some dents in the floor as the Rainbow Wahine Followed her with 14 kills tonight. Take a look again at championship point. They went to Kubio Tineru. Yep, served Danielson, but set Kubio Tineru. And Kubio Tineru with such nice court vision hitting. And there's a little bit of a seam between the blockers. Kubio Tineru attacks it. Dave Shoji looking at his reaction. Look at him. That's it, that's that's big celebration for Dave Soji. That's huge reaction as he celebrates with his team and Kanani Danielson is the MVP of the 2009 WAC Volleyball Tournament All-Tournament Team with her 14 kills, her defense, her passing. She was as promised, as advertised. MVP of the season, MOP or MVP of the tournament. She's just sweeping the awards and that's only as a sophomore. Yeah, plenty of great things to come. She's trying that shirt on, says, hey, this shirt looks pretty good on me. 10th consecutive WAC tournament championship for Dave Soji. They are going to the NCAA tournament. Dave Soji's Rainbow Wahine was going to go to the tournament anyway. They're ranked third in the nation. Perhaps this will help them claim a one seed, at least plead their case for a one seed in the NCAA tournament. 35 years at the helm. 
He knows how to build success, and you look how happy this team is. Seventeenth consecutive NCAA appearance for the Rainbow Wahine. Karch Karai is standing by with Coach and Danielson. Karch. Thank you, Coach. Kanani, congratulations to you both. Um, what do you think this is going to mean in terms of the NCAA picture? Well, I hope the NCAA was watching tonight. I think they, uh, they, they would have seen our, our, our team. I think we have a really good team. Uh, we don't have any bad losses. We've got some good wins. And, uh, you know, we won 19, 20 straight wins or games. So I think uh, we deserve a good seed. And uh, I hope they were watching tonight. Kanani, congratulations. Most outstanding player of both the regular season and now of the tournament. What was your biggest focus for tonight? Biggest focus is to help out my teammates any way I can, especially make sure I follow my assignments, whatever my coaches tell me, and be a big threat for our opponents. Coach, uh, you talked about putting in a bid for the sub-regional. Um, if you don't get that, does Hawaii even go back, or is, there, is that even more of a challenge in the postseason, all the travel that you may have to do more than any other team? Well, we're going home tomorrow morning. We'll wait for the announcement on Sunday, and then we'll probably be on the road on Tuesday night or Monday night even. But we've been on the road for three straight weeks. It's nothing new for us, and uh, we're pretty good on the road. And we travel well, and our players concentrate. So it, it's not a problem if we have to come back. Thank you both. Good luck in the NCAA tournament. Anne-Marie? Thank you, Karch. Well, Hawaii will find out its fate with the rest of the field of 64 on the selection show on ESPN News on Sunday, November 29th. Once again, our final score, Hawaii 3, New Mexico State 0. For Karch Karai and our entire ESPN News crew, I'm Anne-Marie Anderson. For more information, log on to ESPNU.com. The proceeding has been an exclusive presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.